live look at Seaside, Oregon for you. They're on standby for a possible uh, tsunami there. As you can see, all quiet right now. Someone riding through on their bike, clearly not heeding the warnings to stay off the beaches this morning. Looking pretty quiet there, uh, which is the good news. But still, all eyes on the water this morning, uh, just trying to make sure that nothing goes goes wrong at this point. The Bay Area also on alert right now uh, as far as the tsunami warning goes. Nick Jane's joining us live now from the Great Highway with a look at the current conditions in San Francisco. Hey, Nick, good morning. Good morning, Christina. I want to go back, uh, if we can, to the phone interview you just did uh, with your brother, who, as it turns out, is just a half a mile south of where we're standing right now, right along the Great Highway, which is closed to traffic right near the uh, ocean here. You can see some of the waves crashing ashore. What's interesting about this is I actually spoke to him on the phone after you did, and he said that police are telling him he can stay there right now, but within a half an hour, within half an hour, I should say, he's got to get out, must move to higher ground. What's unusual about this is, I mean, look at this. We have people uh, biking on the Great Highway right now. Uh, just next to us, there are a couple of people just sitting on the ledge here, maybe waiting for the first tsunami waves to crash ashore right around 8.08 this morning. So I'm not sure sure if police are evacuating this entire stretch or if it's just a smaller area along the Great Highway. Your brother, Christina, was on La Playa Street. We're right at Fulton and the Great Highway. And I mean, look at this. If you want to pan across, Dave, you can see there are a number of people. This is the most people we have seen all morning long right along this sidewalk. And we talked to police earlier, and they said that a number of them that they had approached didn't even know about this tsunami, but uh, that others were trying to get a front row seat. And that's really something that authorities are warning you not to do. People that are here right now are here at their own risk, and according to police, are risking their lives. You know, we're not expecting these gigantic waves, maybe a, a two to four foot wave to come crashing ashore here in San Francisco, but still there is a measure of unpredictability here. And so these people that are right there, you see them heading down the steps, walking right down to the beach. Uh, they are taking a risk, and it's going to be interesting to see now if police are going to enact some kind of widespread evacuation. Uh, I did have a chance to ask a patrolman uh, just rolling past us if he knew of any evacuation orders. He said he did not. Uh, so, Christina, we're kind of uh, trying to figure out exactly what's happening here, but to certainly we are about a half an hour away from when those first tsunami waves may come crashing ashore here. Uh, the decision for us at this point, uh, prompt, uh, unless there's something uh, unusual that happens here, is that we probably will stay and show it to you live as it happens uh, unless uh, we see something that looks just uh, extraordinary coming towards us. We're going to have the live trucks ready to roll so that we can pull off to safety. But uh, at this point, plan on seeing us live uh, as the waves come ashore around 8.08 this morning. All right, well, let's certainly hope that everyone is safe. It's sometimes not worth the front row seat if it's going to be worse than we thought. I know I said the same thing to my brother. Just get out of the area if they're telling you to go go. All right, Nick Jane's live in San Francisco. Nick, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Also this morning, cars and people lining up on Highway 92 in the Bay Area. That's the road to Half Moon Bay. Uh, a lot of people use that road up and over the summit to get to work. It's a commuting road into, into Half Moon Bay, but a lot of this has turned into where the Looky Loos are all uh, stationed. Hundreds of cars parked along the sides of the roads, parked in the parking lots there, really just cramming in as tight as they can, and hundreds of people walking in the area as well, trying to get a a glimpse of those waves as they do roll in about 808 this morning. Uh, also this morning, uh, taking a look at a KOBI reporter, Ann McCloy. She's on the phone with us right now. Um, this is, Ann and I are very good friends. We worked at the same station together for a long time and covered dozens of stories in Crescent City. Ann, can you hear me? And if you can, what's happening there this morning? Yes, Christina, I can hear you. Um, I'm at a place called Vista Point. It's in Crescent City. It overlooks the ocean. It's the only point that I found uh, here in Crescent City, California, where you can actually see the ocean. Mm -hmm. The authorities have actually closed off uh, the Highway 101 that runs right along the coast. They've closed most of the city uh, that's low-lying areas there. So you can't actually go into Crescent City at this point. They've evacuated, uh, forced evacuations on residents that live along the beaches. And um, I'm with a large group of people up here who are with their binoculars taking pictures and just waiting to see what happens here. It certainly is something to keep an eye on this morning. That's uh, KOPI reporter Ann McCloy on the phone for us this morning as she pays attention to what's happening in Crescent City. And we appreciate the update. Are, are you hearing the sirens going off this morning? You know, I haven't heard any sirens, but there's a lot of helicopters flying over. And uh, 
just a lot of police out here monitoring the roads, telling people where to go, and uh, because of the evacuations, they're sending people to some of the local schools to uh, stay there for shelter. A lot of people um, that have been evacuated are actually out here just watching the water. And actually, I do. I actually hear a siren right now um, in the distance. Actually, I'm super, I'm not really in Crescent City, so um, I'm I'm a little out of the way because we're not supposed to be there. But I can hear the sirens now evacuating people. Okay, well, that is, that's good news. All right, at least the sirens are going off. We know that they're working. People can heed those warnings this morning uh, and get out of the way as quickly as possible. That's Ann McCloy. She's live in Crescent City this morning. Ann, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's get to Kimberly now. Kimberly has been evacuated from Crescent City at this point. Kimberly, what can you tell us from where you're standing this morning? Well, I'm over here by the high school, and that's where everyone is being evacuated to. I actually got woken up. I live like five blocks away from the shore. So I had to come over here to my friend's house. And the uh, first siren started going off at like, well, I heard him at like two o'clock in the morning. So you were hearing uh, the sirens went off. Did police come to your door and actually tell you you need to leave the area? Um, firefighters did. Okay. And they, they came and told us it was a forced evacuation. We had to leave. And they set up um, evacuation center at the high school. And um, instead of going there, I went to my friend's house, which is right across the street. Sure. Now tell me, uh, we were t we were heard that we heard that these waves were supposed to hit about 7:23 this morning. Have you been able to see any of those waves coming in? No, they have everyone away from the waves. You can't see anything. We're at a high school. It's a little bit further away. Okay. So we really, we're just going. All right, looks like we're losing Kimberly there. All right, Kimberly, we appreciate the update. Thank you so much. Again, if you are in the Crescent City area or know someone who's there, uh, similar situations happening in Del Norte, Humboldt, and Mendocino counties. Um, a lot of people having to get out of the areas there. But people in Crescent City have been evacuated from uh, 9th Street and below. So if you're anywhere near the coastal areas there, around 9th Street or below, you're telling to get to being told to get out of the area using Smith River Elementary, Del Norte High School uh, as places you can go to to uh, evacuate to as well. They're telling people to stay off the beaches. Don't use any watercraft in that area. Anybody in the low-lying area, simply get out. This isn't their first rodeo there. Uh, Crescent City obviously has planned for this. They have sirens in place. They do many drills in order to make sure that they are safe and they're prepared for a situation like this. Also this morning uh, in the Bay Area, they're watching this tsunami warning very, very closely right now before making any changes to the BART schedules there. Alan Sanchez joining us live now in Pittsburgh with the very latest. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Christina. Yeah, right behind me is uh, the East Bay Pittsburgh point where they're where you're seeing that they, they try to go towards San Francisco and other parts of the Bay Area, but uh, no word on any closures. Uh, I did talk to officials about a half an hour ago, and they said that they weren't going to have any kind of closure or stop stoppage of the trains, but they weren't going to rule out as a possibility later on throughout the day. So I've been talking to also people who are passengers on the train, and they are saying that they're going to take uh, uh, hurry up and rush on the train so they can make it to work and be if they do have to stop any of these trains. So right now, uh, there's no stoppage to any of the trains, but uh, they haven't ruled it out yet. So we're going to keep monitoring the situation here in uh, Pittsburgh in the East Bay. Christina. All right, that's Alan Sanchez live this morning, and we're really keeping an eye on Crescent City as their turning point here, whether or not they will make any changes to the BART schedule, as Alan was mentioning there. Uh, also this morning, we are hearing that the very first wave uh, of this possible tsunami is hitting the U.S. mainland along the northern California coast right now. So, again, we'll be monitoring that situation for you. Uh, we're going to have much more coming up here on Good Day Sacramento. We've got you covered with all the details this morning as the situation develops. So stay with us. We will be right back.